613 here. It's a Monday morning and this morning there's remarkable news in Alzheimer's research. A breakthrough medication that could help slow the onset of memory loss and other dementia symptoms just got fast track approval by the FDA. But the drug called lecanemab still has to prove that it's safe and effective for patients so doctors feel confident prescribing it. Now that important work is happening right here in Las Vegas and you may be able to help. I would forget like a first name or I would forget like uh, I had a number I'm, you know, I was using you know, just 20 minutes ago and I couldn't remember it and then oh, it would pop up back and whatever. With a family history of dementia, 68-year-old Bob Lathrop is worried he might be on the same path. So he signed up to participate in the clinical trials of a promising new drug called lecanemab. One of the benefits of the volunteer situation, I get really, really tested. <laughs> Bob passed one of the most important tests for the study. His brain imaging, like this, shows a buildup of amyloid protein. Abnormal cells doctors say can eventually trigger Alzheimer's dementia. Lecanemab has proven to remove accumulating amyloid. So the thought is by removing the amyloid protein uh, we can actually delay the progression of the disease. Neurologist Dr. Charles Burnick leads the AHEAD study at the Cleveland Clinic here in Las Vegas. Testing patients over a lengthy treatment of lecanemab or BAN 2401, its clinical name. And then we follow them over time, over the five years, with periodic scans of their brain, tests of their memory, so we can really detect if anything's changing. The hope is that after the five years that we would have the answer of whether treating an individual early before they have symptoms can can prevent Alzheimer's disease dementia. Preventing the crippling brain disease would be a miraculous breakthrough, considering there hasn't been a new medication to help with cognitive decline in more than 20 years. One of the misconceptions is that it takes such a long time for drugs to get on the market because the FDA is so slow. When in fact, the real reason that drugs take a long time to get onto the market is getting enough people to participate in these studies to, to see if the drug really works. I don't feel anything, and I still don't know whether I'm getting it or not, but whether I am or not, I'm helping. He sure is, and Dr. Burnick says he's grateful for volunteers like Bob who give their time that will benefit all of us, but they need more participants. If you'd like to get involved in the AHEAD study trials at the Cleveland Clinic, you must be a healthy adult between the age of 55 and 80 and a non-smoker. And very important, participants cannot have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease or other dementia. If you're interested, you can visit this website, healthybrains.org forward slash AHEAD, or call 702-701-7944. We'll also have that information on 8newsnow.com. So Dr. Burnick says the idea of this drug, mm -hmm. like, and there are several others like it that are also being tested, is to get ahead of the disease before it progresses. Mm -hmm. And if lecanemab can actually remove amyloid, as mm -hmm. it's been proven to do, then it will slow down the disease and prevention could be the key to treating the disease, Alzheimer's dementia, for the entire future. Because right now, there's no cure for yeah. it. And once you've got it, you're just yeah. living out there. It's such a horrible, uh, horrible disease, but to get ahead mm -hmm. of it would be a big step. And it I think sure it's, uh, I appreciated the information there about how the FDA may not be the slow part of this situation, mm -hmm. that they're doing what they can, but they need participants in these studies, right? Right, and these studies are very important because yeah, you okay. want to make sure that the, the drug is safe Absolutely. for everyone to take. So really important. Thank you for uh, Bob and for Dr. Burnick to do that story.